Welcome back to another episode of This Week on Channel 9. I'm your host, Christina Warren, Senior Cloud Advocate. And it has been a minute. Uh, and, you know, in fairness, there's a lot going on in the world right now that we're not going to talk about because that's not what we do. Uh, but uh, I, uh, I lost my voice at one point. It's just kind of general craziness. But I'm back. I'm wearing my Taylor Swift hoodie because that's also what I do. And I'm here with all kinds of fantastic developer news. So let's just get started. So first things first, the .NET Comp is coming. It is next week. It is uh, November 10th through the 12th. November 12th is also my birthday. So happy birthday to me. So be sure to check that out. There are links in the show notes and the description. You don't want to miss it. And one of the big reasons you don't want to miss the .NET Comp is because .NET 5.0 is launching at the .NET Comp. And this is fantastic. You know, we've been talking about out. .NET 5 for years. This is the fusion between .NET Core and .NET and all the different flavors. It's bringing everything together. It's a really, really big release for a lot of reasons. You don't want to miss the, the conference. You don't want to miss learning more about all the things that you can do. So I've got uh, links in the show notes on the below, as I said, to .NET Comp so you can RSVP and tune in. We'll also have those videos up on demand afterwards. And, you know, I've got some resources also in the show notes down below for what you can, um, you know, read up on about about.NET 5 before you go into it if you want to do that. So next up, uh, Microsoft Edge for Linux is now available in preview. So I actually talked about this a couple weeks back. This was something that we announced at Microsoft Ignite, and I actually was able to interview um, uh, Sean from the team about uh, Microsoft Edge coming to Linux. It's a pretty big deal. It is kind of one of those, I can't believe this is really happening sorts of moments, but it's pretty awesome. It is in preview right now. I've got links in the show notes in the description down below. You can download it uh, directly um, as, as a, a .dev or as an RPM file, but you can also, if you want, um, add Microsoft's repositories to your command line and, and, and uh, download it from the CLI. And we're also wanting feedback from people in the Linux community, whether you're a distro or a user for you know, what you would like to see and maybe, you know, ways you would like to get it. So uh, if you have feedback, please let me know in the in the comments down below or tweet me on, on Twitter. Let me know your thoughts because uh, the team wants to know and I've kind of taken it upon myself to help the, the Edge team know and, and connect with, with people within the Linux community. So this is great news. If you are a Linux user in any capacity, be sure to check this out. All right, next up, uh, my, uh, the uh, Visual Studio Code extension, Python extension for October 2020 has been released. And this is a pretty big one. The big feature here is that the debuggy py, uh, debuggy py uh, debugger is now at version 1.0. And so you can do a lot of uh, a lot more stuff with debugging with the extension now. There's some other updates as well, but the big thing is the 1.0 release for the debugging extension. So uh, definitely check that out. I've got links in the show notes in the description where you can read the blog post and download uh, the extension. Next up, this is pretty great. So um, Azure resource management libraries for Java are now available. And this is basically um, a lot of work that the Java team has done to basically kind of create a, a resource management client library um, that's both user friendly and idiomatic for the Java ecosystem. And so these libraries are gonna offer, you know, a higher level object-oriented API for managing Azure resources, which is really great. And this is optimized uh, for ease of use, for succinctness, and again, you know, things that Java developers want. So if you have, if, if you're a Java user and you kind of struggled with maybe managing your Azure resources in the past, definitely check out uh, the, the libraries for Java that exists now and also give us your feedback. So I've got links to that blog post and more information in the show notes in the description. Next up, uh, pretty big news out of GitHub. GitHub uh, Game Off 2020 is uh, now live. It, it, it is uh, basically kind of a, a game Hack gamer hackathon that takes place every November, and the, uh, there are a bunch of different challenges. Basically, just come on and, and create your own games in whatever language you want, uh, kind of within a theme. And this year's theme is all about moonshots, and so that can mean a lot of things. Oftentimes, we think about that as you know, we're going for something that's really big, and it seems like maybe it's kind of out of this world and out there. But if we land it, it can really change things. And so you can go with that in a lot of different directions. Obviously, you could go more direct and space themed, or you could be. A a little more esoteric about it. You have a lot of options, but if you want to get uh, started, if you want to participate in Game Off, I've got links in the show notes in the description down below, as well as more information about the theme and uh, you know other resources for getting started. So check that out. 
next up it, this is actually great saying next how, how many times can i say that now next.js which is a javascript framework that i like a whole lot just released version 10 uh at their conference uh, i guess about two weeks ago and there is a bunch of new stuff that's actually in the framework and that's why i wanted to mention this because i think they have some really really cool stuff uh including um the way that their routing works for the way you build your app, your applications and uh, some built-in things they're doing around like image image optimization and whatnot. So if you've if you have played with uh, with the next.js, it's pretty powerful. Uh, version ten is out now, and if you haven't, it might be something that you want to check out. I think it's, I think it's really fun. All right, next up, uh, my favorite application on Windows is the Windows Terminal. And Kayla has a great post up about tips and tricks for getting the most out of Windows Terminal. This is something that's near and dear to my heart. I actually did a session at Microsoft Ignite 2019 about, you know, uh, pimp my terminal uh, going off of the whole pimp my ride MTV thing. And so these tips and tricks are really fantastic. So whether you're a new user to Windows Terminal or you've been using it for a while but haven't really uncovered everything you can do with it, you want to check these things out. So it's really great. Next up, uh, with uh, in Windows uh, Insider's preview release right now, uh, WSL, the Windows subsystem for Linux, there is now the ability to do automatic kind of distro installations. And so this means that when you are using and installing WSL, it's, it's easier than ever. You can basically just run the WSL dash dash install command and all the necessary components that you need for WSL will uh, be enabled, and that will also include whatever uh, Linux distro of your choice you want. So I've got more details in the show notes, the description about how that works. That is in the Insiders build right now, but that will obviously eventually be coming to uh, everybody's Windows 10. So that's something to look forward to. And uh, just a reminder, um, WSL 2 was backported to, I think, two versions back of, of um, Windows 10. So more and more people, I think the vast majority of Windows 10 users can actually take advantage of it, which is really awesome. Next up on channel nine this week, we have some great content. First up, I want to give a shout out to the Java Developer Conference. And this was something that we did a couple weeks ago. There's some great content, including um, a, a talk from, from Rich Turner, who is our friend he does a lot of stuff with, with WSL and with Windows Terminal and, and with all the command line stuff, which is all about uh, Java developer productivity on Windows. So check that out. Also, shout out to, to Bruno Borges, who is our emeritus uh, Bruno's Java corner person. So check out Rich's video. And also on Visual Studio Toolbox, um, they're um, uh, with uh, uh, Leslie and Vix. They talk about GitHub Code Spaces, and GitHub Code Spaces is awesome. And if you haven't really gotten started with it, or if you still want to know more information about what you can do with it, you definitely want to check this out. And finally, over on Data Exposed, um, there is Azure SQL capacity planning scenarios. So that's really good stuff. And I've got links in the show notes in the description down below to all those videos. Be sure to check them out. And now it's time for my pick of the week. And I could have gone in a bunch of different directions, but who am I kidding? It is it is console season. It is it is video game console season. And it is actually going to be out next week. When you see this, it'll be out on, on Tuesday, November 10th. Um, I have mine pre-ordered. I will be getting it. I'm very excited. I also, uh, also the uh, PlayStation 5 is going to be out on November 12th, which is my birthday. There are also new video cards from AMD and NVIDIA. So it's honestly just like a terrific time for gaming. But even though I'm not in the press anymore, so I don't get my console early, I'm very excited about this. And uh, I'm excited about gaming in general, even though weirdly, this is a weird thing. We've got all these new systems, all these new uh, video cards, not a lot of new games. Everything's getting delayed, Cyberpunk delayed again, but I can't wait. Like I'm genuinely really, really excited. So that's my pick of the week, Xbox Series X, and expect to hear more from me about what I think about that in the coming shows. Let me know what you, uh, what console you're excited about or video card or, or what in the comments down below, or let me know your thoughts on any of the other uh, news items that we had this week. And uh, while you're there, go ahead and give this video a like. It helps us out and subscribe to us, uh, Microsoft Developer, for all of your nerd needs. See you next time.